I'm Autumn Johnson for NCAA Digital, and women's college basketball fans, it's that time again. The 2021-22 season is right around the corner, which means it's time for my preseason Power 10 rankings. Let's dive in. Number one, alas, here we are again with South Carolina taking my preseason throne. The Gamecocks are bringing back the entire Final Four squad and hit the number one recruiting class jackpot again, adding three out of the top five recruits. But the Gamecocks front court just got scarier with Syracuse 6-7 transfer Camilla Cardosa, who will be a great addition alongside one of the best posts in the country, Aaliyah Boston. After falling short to the national champion Stanford by one point in the Final Four, I like their chances to add a second national title in program history. Coming in at number two, I have UConn. The Huskies bring back their starting five and two of the top five recruits in the nation, putting this program in a great position to bring the title back to stores. Plus, National Player of the Year Paige Beckers will look to top her impressive season as a freshman as she led the Huskies to the Final Four. More firepower will be added to the veteran squad with the number one overall recruit, AZ Fudd, who will bring immediate chemistry with Beckers as her former USA teammate. I have Stanford at number three. I went back and forth with the Cardinal and Huskies. Stanford is returning its depth with 12 of 13 players from last year's national championship roster, all except senior leader Kiana Williams, which caused the drop for me. But 2021 NCAA Tournament Most Outstanding Player Haley Jones will look to take over that role. Anna Wilson also deciding to return for another year gives Stanford more leadership and a lockdown defender. Nevertheless, the defending national champs will enter the season with a target on its back. Maryland takes number four. The number one scoring offense in the nation will return its Sweet 16 core. Talk about double figure depth in six players. Maryland's top scorers Ashley Owusu and Diamond Miller were tough to stay in front of, and Katie Benzin led the nation in three-point field goal percentage. Maryland had an early exit in the NCAA tournament, but this dominant squad is well-equipped to be successful once again. NC State rounds out my top five. The back-to-back -back ACC champs secured a number one seed in the NCAA tournament by knocking off two number one teams in the regular season. The good news is this team didn't lose any key ingredients. NC State's go-to star Elisa Kunain returns as a senior, giving the Wolfpack a strong inside and outside scoring threat. The Wolfpack had an unexpected ending in the Sweet 16, but I believe there will be no drop-off. I have Louisville ranked at number six. The Cardinals lost their scoring threat Dana Evans and starter Elizabeth Balagoon, but the roster is revamped with some elite scores. Syracuse transfer Emily Engsler and Vanderbilt transfer Chelsea Hall. The future still looks bright with Louisville's remaining stars Kiana Smith, Haley Van Lith, and Olivia Cochran. Oregon takes my number seven slot. Learning a new system won't be a focal point for Oregon, who had nine new ducks last season. Tahina Pow Pow did a phenomenal job at point in her first year. Plus, Oregon will add USC transfer India Rogers and top 30 recruit Taylor Bigby to the backcourt. Not to mention the dangerous frontcourt duo Sedona Prince and Yara Sabli. So keep the ducks high on your radar heading into this season. At number eight, Indiana breaks in my list for the first time. The Hoosers made a lot of noise in the NCAA tournament, making a historic run to the Elite Eight by knocking off number one seed NC State. With Ali Patberg's decision to return, we can expect Indiana's balanced scoring attack and elite defense to not skip a beat. Indiana's same powerful ammunition, Mackenzie Holmes, Grace Berger, and Alesco Gulpe is also back and ready to continue to make history. Iowa comes in at number nine, another newcomer in my list. Freshman sensation Caitlin Clark's unlimited range and passing ability put Iowa high on everyone's radar. Her dynamic duo, Monica Zanano, will also return to the front court, creating an unmatched chemistry. When Iowa's supporting cast is clicking, the number two scoring offense in the country is unstoppable. And last but not least, Baylor at number 10. Baylor will be in a rebuilding phase, losing key starters, plus legendary Kim Mulkey, who is starting a new chapter as LSU's head coach. Former Atlanta head coach Nikki Collin will start a new era in Waco, Texas. She will look to lead scorer and rebounder Nalissa Smith to be a great contributor to their success, along with Queen Egbo accompanying Smith in the paint. 
That's a wrap for my preseason Power 10 rankings. I have tons in store for you this season, so make sure you follow along on NCAA.com and NCAA Women's Basketball Social for more.